from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie. Savannah? All right, Matt, thanks. And now to new ways to think about your body type to make the most of your next shopping trip. Jackie Stafford is a fashion editor and the author of The Wow Factor, Insider Style Secrets for Everybody and Every Budget. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. So body shapes, we're used to the old fashion kind of ways to describe it, pear shape, apple shape, that kind of thing. You're giving some new whimsical names to the body shapes. Yes, well, I wanted women to feel good about themselves. And so I wanted women to, ha to be able to recognize shapes that are fun and they're positive. Because who wants to be an apple or a pear? <laughs> exactly. You want to be a nice, fun shape. You go, I love that. So it doesn't matter whether you're a size 2 or a size 20. It's not about size. It's about getting it for your shape. All right, let's get to our first shape, yes. the sunglasses shape. Yeah. So with, this is kind of with the Jessica Rabbit. The Look. sunglasses shape. So this is really balanced curves on top. So now it's like an hourglass silhouette, that classic hourglass silhouette. We'd all love to have things. I mean, look, Sophia, Kim really epitomize this great shape. So, but the problem with this, sometimes you can look a little top heavy. So a great V-neck top is really the most flattering neckline for that shape. Okay, our next shape we call the fragrance bottle. Yeah, the fra we were talking about being a fragrance bottle. So the fragrance bottle shape is all about being smaller on top and bigger on the bottom half. So I bought with me a couple of things that you really have essentials in your wardrobe. Beyonce here, we look she's like a perfect example of the of the fragrance bottle shape so it's really about making sure that you balance your bottom half and draw the attention okay to the so you're a little maybe wider here Slightly tinier here the top yes oh, right? and small on top so here's what here's what you want to look for you want to look for a bright colored scarf and the reason the scarf works so well it draws all the attention to the top half of the body also if you get a nice light bright color it reflects light on your face so it's drawing the attention up towards the top half and you say go for a boot cut jean go for a boot cut dark wash jean no whiskering no fading a boot cut jean, hugs to the top of the thigh and then little flare out. Was what that does is help balance the heavier bottom half. And always go for a top that has some type of detailing at the top that helps broaden the shoulder line mm -hmm. as well. So we're looking for dark on the bottom, lighter on the top. Our next shape is lipstick shape. Yes. This is what I, probably if you know somebody who's lipstick shape, you say, you're so skinny. Oh, this is a problem that so many women have. They say, you know, a lot of people are envious about this shape, but in actual fact, it can be very hard to dress. What we're trying to do here is create the illusion of curves where perhaps there aren't any. So you can get away with some, with some pieces that your curvy sisters can't get away with. Think about ruffles, anything with like a little curve on it, ruffles, any type of um, frill on it, those will help create curves in bikinis for a lipstick shape. When we go to a dress, you want to look for nice lines that help create the illusion mm -hmm. of a curve. So piping, seaming, anything like that that's going to create a curvaceous shape if you don't have one. Okay, our next shape, cocktail ring. Who are some celebrities we might associate with this uh, shape? Well, our cocktail ring celebrities that we have here we have um, Octavia Spencer she has more of a, co a cocktail ring shape Lena Durham she has more of a cocktail ring shape so with these shapes here the, the trick is all about camouflaging the tummy area and, and a little bit of ruching across the tummy so we're looking here to downplay the torso area ruching draping shirring things like this are your best friend and you like a chunkier heel I like a chunkier heel because if you're full of figure and you have more of a curvaceous waist uh, uh, less of a curvaceous waist you want to go for like a nice thick heel it helps balance out a heavier calf. So go for thicker heels rather than very skinny skinny heels. Okay, last but not least, the heart pendant figure. The heart pendant figure, now this one is when you're bigger on top and smaller on the bottom half. We have great celebrities here. Padma will show this. Amanda will show this. This is when you're slightly bigger on top. And the trick for this one is balancing out the bottom half with a little flare on the bottom half. Most people think they should be skinny on the bottom half. You want to add a little bit of flare on the bottom half so it creates more of an hourglass silhouette. Alright, some good advice. The book again is the wow factor. Jackie Stafford, thank you so much.